Okay guys, how's it going again? Another crazy video from T-Man's Go-Karts. I put up a video over on my uh, other channel, T-Man's Builds, about this tank here. I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. And you'll be able to find it over there on T-Man's Builds, by that channel. But anyways, many of you have asked me about what I plan on doing with the trailer, where, I, where I'm gonna put it back here. Well, in a nutshell, it's gonna be going right here, where I've got all my other builds. I'll be taking the Batmobile, putting it on, and I'll be putting Cody's cart on there. I'll be putting most of this stuff, some of this stuff I'm going to be getting rid of, putting it on to the trailer until I get the full screen machine done. And then the full screen machine will be going on there. I won't be able to put it all on there. Uh, let me show you where I'm at on the trailer. Yeah, you guys already saw it right there. Yeah, went down and got some boards for it. Uh, I've got to do the lights. I plan on putting the lights right on this uh, either the first bar here or the second bar standing off uh, I have to do something with the let me put this, set this down now the uh, fenders I can't put the fenders directly onto the frame because the tire sticks out a little too far on the outside of the fender so I'm gonna have to bring it out about an inch so I'll be putting on I'll be uh, holding on some bars, probably going at a triangle, and then I'll be bolting the fender onto that. So the fender sticks out about an inch. And I'll be also, I might be taking this box and putting it up front, maybe. Not too sure yet. Uh, you can see how I built that sticking out a little bit. I did have this box in the back of my truck. I might still just do that. Make it a little utility box. Right now all I've got in there is uh, just some other odds and ends stuff. Uh, got my, uh, my older two meter transceiver in here. Back in the day when I used to work, when I used to do ham radio. Yeah, ICOM. IC2100H FM transceiver for two meters. Uh, what else I got in here? I've got a big, massive, loud speaker. Yeah, cool stuff. Uh, oh yeah, I've got some uh, grizzly spray, just in case I come across anybody that I just don't like. I can just, yeah, I don't mess with mace or taser. I use right out grizzly spray. Uh, let's see here, what else we got in here? Oh, ha ha ha. Yeah, I should hook this thing back up in my in my in my rig. Yeah, look at that. That's beauteous. A Ranger RG99, 11 meter, or otherwise known as CB. Uh, this bad boy goes uh, below channel one and up above channel 40. And yeah, that's a great. That was a great little toy. It's got echo and reverb and all sorts of other craziness to it. Uh, just a bunch of this will probably come in handy these tie downs oh uh, yeah just a bunch of other wires cables oh yeah RG8 coax yeah baby yep RG8U by the Tandy Wire and Cable Company so I'm taking all that out and uh, yeah. putting chains and some extra tools and stuff like that in here. Just a bunch of other neat little things. Taking all that stuff out of there. And uh, uh, probably, uh, I don't know what I'll do. Um, maybe I'll, yeah. I don't know if I'll leave that in there just because but yeah, I got the uh, coupler put on. Some of you guys who have seen what I did to it over on my uh, Facebook page. I took the, uh, took the chains. See, I've got the bar right here that comes up to about right here. And then I put the bolts in and my safety chains I have going up and then the this bolt right here I have going through both safety chains 
both eyelets of the safety chain inside there. Uh, that's how I got that set up. Yep. Now I contacted Bill over there on on his website, trailerplans.com, and I'll show you something that he's got a little special offer for you guys. Now he told me to uh, mention this out to you guys as a little special offer that if you decide that you want to build a trailer and you want to build it based upon one of his designs that he has on his website and if you live here in the United States you know it gets shipped to you for free the trailer kit gets shipped to you for free uh, it's best if it's shipped directly to a business not a home uh, because shipping via freight to a residential property is a lot more expensive so if you order for a set of trailer plan or a trailer kit then it would be it'd be better to find somebody who will accept the kit at their place of business so if you live in the united states and you find somebody who you can have your trailer kit shipped to you uh he'll ship it to you for free and another thing that he'll also do for you is that he will ship you a set of plans also for free so if you see a set of plans and you want to build a trailer He'll ship you the set of plans for free if you order the kit from them here in the United States. They don't get sent to you via PDF. They get sent to you like this. And let me open this thing up so you guys can see what you get. Now these plans that he sent me are for a 6x10 size trailer that he sent to me to uh, help me out with this one. So let's take a look at these. Alright, here they are. They start out, you can see there. 10 foot utility trailer, plans at T1110. They start out with going from step one, and they go all through the whole process, all the way to the point to, uh, oh. oh, I guess he's got, uh, the way he's got this set up is that it's got little drawers for the uh, ramp. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't see that page. I only took it out up to uh, page number three, I think. That's as far as I went. But, yeah, he'll send you these these plans for free. And, well, now, keep in mind that these plans that you see here are just for this type of trailer. Now, he's got plans and kits for all of that. You see that? Yeah, look at that. So he just doesn't offer little simple kits like what he had sent me. He's got full kits for tandem axles and all sorts of stuff. And like I said, you know, he's he's the lowest in the United States. So if you've got a company and you're looking to build something monstrous like this to haul your backhoe on or your forklift or whatever, yeah, there you go. Pretty cool right there. That's a lot of stuff that he deals in. Pretty cool. So if you order for a kit and you live here in the United States and you have some place to have everything delivered to, he'll send you a set of plans for free, whatever it is that you're building. So if you're wanting to build, so let's say you're wanting to build a 12 foot dump bed. Yeah, he's got the plans for all that and he's got the kit for you good stuff right there get on over there to his website to check it out